Hello? Hello? Yeah, there. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't find that here. You're clean. Now, hold on. Yeah, I know better now. Yeah. You what? You pregnant? So how? I tell all these bad influence, you know. You force something on me. I didn't even want it. I don't ready for them type of thing yet. Ah. Well, what you expected? I mean... You, you can't you go drop it at school. You can't drop it at school. Ah, oh boy. Yeah, well, I mean, at least, at least you could, you could... I, I don't, I don't want to... I don't know about this thing either. Oh boy. So tell me what I tell you for Zelda now. Which is not happening to me. Oh boy. Yeah, when you make sure when you when you make sure that is that what happened to you and you don't sick, come back. Oh boy. What time my father? I tell you, when you know something no good, don't do it, you know. Don't do it. Ah, boy. Hey, God is so good. During this festive season, it is very important, especially for young people, to understand, understand clearly that sex is not something to mix up with alcohol. Further, many times individuals want to say, hey, you should try it out. No, that's not something good to do. Now, people say to you, especially during this festive season, that you must abstain. But listen to me now, I agree with them, but you cannot wait until the festive season to think about abstaining. Uh, you see what I have? I have a guitar, I have a, a, a carving here. Now these, I brought them to show you. When I was younger, I engrossed myself in doing things that are beneficial. You know how much time it takes to complete this or to learn some cards on the guitar? So when your mind uh, focuses on something else, then it is easier for you to abstain from sex. Now listen, listen to this, listen to this. You must have a plan, yes. And the plan actually says that you must fill your day with beneficial things to do. Uh, then remember too that in the plan, you must flee fornication. The Bible says, the word of God in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 18 says, uh, flee or run from fornication. Uh, so listen to what alcohol does. During this festive season, a lot of people, uh, they just focus on uh, fetting and having a nice time using alcohol. Now alcohol changes up the state of your consciousness and causes you not to think clearly. And so the Bible is saying, run from fornication uh, because sex outside of marriage is fornication run from it uh, further please understand please understand apart from running example set in uh, in the book of Genesis you remember Joseph uh, Mrs. Potiphar was calling him to have sex with her uh, Joseph realized that that was fornication and he ran he ran that's the way to deal with that uh, then finally please understand you have to pray Yes, you must pray and ask God to help you to stay out of sexual temptations. And now if anybody says to you uh, that, listen, you will contract some sexually transmitted disease, remember that life also is sexually transmitted. So wait for the right time. May God bless you. Good morning again. I know that you have so much to do in so little time. But before you rush off, 
I just want to thank you for your cooperation in this social media evangelism week. You know, friends, during this festive season, um, the emotions and the passions and the sexual temptations, they are very real and present for our students and youth. But you can help them by sharing this video again to all your contacts on all your different social media platforms using the hashtag PCML4J. See you later.